Hey guys, welcome back to another tech tip. Today we're going to do things a little bit differently. We're actually going to talk about hardware or computer hardware. We're going to start with the motherboard on exactly what it is and what it does for your PC. Stay tuned. Hey everyone, welcome back. Okay, so the board that we're going to be unboxing today is the MSI H81M-P33. It's a micro ATX board. A lot of motherboards will come in different uh, companies. You can either get them in an AMD or an Intel. This happens to be an Intel. But uh, we're just going to go over the basics of what a motherboard does for your computer. So we're going to go ahead and open it up. This has been opened before, so it's not going to have the anti-static bag. But when you usually open this up, you'll have a disk, which has uh, your basic, like your chipset drivers for your graphics, things like that. Um, you have what they call the I.O. panel. And what this does is it will protect the blank space or the empty space in between these connections here. As you can see, it goes similar to that like right there. Um, also, you'll have usually a manual that'll come with it. You can open it up. It'll give you a little bit of information about the board. Uh, but the main thing, of course, is the board itself. Like I said, this is a micro ATX, so it is a very small board. You can get them in different sizes, ranging from a little bit bigger to a mini. Uh, but this, like I said, is an Intel board. Uh, this is where your CPU goes. We've talked about CPUs in the past. This is where your central processing unit goes. This is, this is the brain of the computer. So what you usually do when you open this up, you'll usually have a chip sitting right in here. And that's what uh, any information that goes through the computer comes into this little area and goes through that chip. So uh, next thing we want to look at is the RAM slots. Uh, different boards will support different amounts of RAM. This is what they call random access memory. Uh, so when, as you can see, this board has two slots. Sometimes you'll find them most of the time with four slots, even sometimes with uh, eight slots with the higher end motherboards. So you've got your power connectors here. You have different pins for different fans to keep things cool. Um, also, you have a watch battery. This is what keeps your settings, also known as the BIOS. So when your computer is off, this is what keeps the time and date correct is this little battery right here. So everything that you do plugs into this. That's why they call it the motherboard. Your hard drives will plug into the SATA ports here. And then depending on if you have a graphics card or something that will plug into the PCI Express slot right here, uh, different adapters, you can get more USBs, you can get displays like a graphics card will go in there. Um, otherwise, you'll use the onboard graphics. This is where most of the time your monitor will plug into either one of these two ports. Uh, you've got your internet, your ethernet right here. You've got your sound right here, a couple USB 2.0s here and here. And then the blue stands for USB 3.0, which is just faster speed as well. So um, then you've got your green and your purple. These are old PS2 ports for older mice and keyboards. So going through that about wraps up what exactly the motherboard does for your computer here. If you want a little bit more information, I'll go ahead and post some articles or some links down below the video. You can check those out for a little bit more in-depth view. Thanks for watching that video, everyone. If you loved what you see, go ahead and hit the subscribe button right below me here. We do a lot of how-tos, a lot of information regarding different types of computer hardware. If you want to check out some of our other videos, go ahead and click on some of them on the left-hand side right there. Once again, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.